Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Street Fighter TNC 00 Akuma from Big Boys Toys. Continuing our look at this amazingly fun, the new challenger lineup of Street Fighter figures from Big Boys Toys, we're taking a look at the latest release being Akuma. As you can see, the figure comes in that same style box with this gorgeous artwork on the front. Love the glossiness of the artwork here. It's just a really, really wonderful box that's very, very sturdy. Has a great look to it. And as you rotate that around, we do get some images of the included figure here with some different turnarounds. A look at the included base as well as the cool little features and functions of this particular statue slash figure. And another cool thing about this, we do have the nice Velcro flap right there on the front so we can open that up with a nice window that fully showcases our figure within. But let's go ahead and get Akuma pulled out of this box so we can get a closer look at him right now. All right, so here we go. Everything that is included in the box right here. So these are just unarticulated figures. And as you can see, they have a very stylistic look to them. Um, they're a little, you know, kind of more short and squat, but it's a very cool look. And I got to say, it's an absolutely beautiful sculpt. And the paintwork on these never disappoints. It is so clean, great shading that's used all throughout. It's just a really, really wonderful looking figure. I mean, look at the details and kind of like the little rope ties around his hands. Uh, same with the rope going around his waist there i mean look at that even those toenails holy cow he's just a beautifully sculpted and painted figurine um and like i said he is totally unarticulated because he's meant to just be displayed on this base and there's some really cool light and sound features but before we get to that just to give you guys an idea you can see the figure itself stands almost a full six inches tall so that's what you can expect as far as that goes now everything else that comes included in this box is the little display base you got this back piece a couple back pieces actually for the display base and you got a little training card here uh, that features that awesome artwork that the figure is based on so very cool there um, so the base itself will require AAA batteries you actually need three of them which will screw into the bottom here that way you can activate your very cool lights and sound feature which is done by this button right here I'm gonna wait to push that until we get it all put together so you guys can see the full effect you can see we got a speaker right there though I do love how it says the new challenger Akuma on the front and you do have this very cool video game-esque look to the floor and everything so let's assemble this first of all we do have this great backer piece and one of the things that's a little different with Akuma's is it's got that uh, very cool uh, kind of movable background image there which I absolutely love look yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Good stuff there. So it's got that really great burst that kind of looks like it moves around. This is a really nice uh, solid material. It's not just paper or anything like that. It's nice plastic material. And you can just slide that right there into the back of the display base. In addition to that, we've got these cool symbols that will also attach to the base to complete the background. You'll notice that it does have kind of like a little plug on there because some of the lights and sounds are activated through the base. So basically just line up those plugs, get it nice and pressed on there firmly, and you can see it locks on there very nicely. And then that brings us to Akuma, and you can see it's the same thing with him. He does have the little plug there, which is going to be to activate his cool lighting effects. So you'll want to line him up the correct way. He actually stands with his back to you on this base. So you get him locked in there nicely, and look at that. The overall presentation is gorgeous. Makes for a beautiful display on this base. I absolutely love it, but this is where things get really, really fun. By pressing the button, we trigger the lights and the sounds just like this. How amazing is that? I mean, it is so completely epic. All of these symbols individually light up before the, the back one there kind of bursts out into lights. Beautiful LEDs. It's bright. Even under my studio lights here, you can see how bright it was. And the sound is so loud. I mean, it really comes through that speaker beautifully. Let me do that again so you guys can. I'm going to turn the camera here or the, turn the angle of this so you guys can actually get a look at Akuma because watch his eyes also light up with the backdrop there. Beautiful. And if this was in a darker room, it would look even brighter because like I said, those LEDs are very, very bright on there. 
This is a wonderful display piece. If you are a big Akuma fan or just a fan of Street Fighter, I really think this is a wonderful piece to add to your display in your game room or your toy collection. I just think these are so much fun. And if you have any of the other TNC figures from Big Boy's Toys, they actually line up really nicely together. You can almost make it look like the characters are facing off against one another. So very, very cool stuff. I gotta give a very special thanks to the folks over at Big Boys Toys for sending Akuma over so we can give them a little unboxing and review here. If you guys want to check these out for yourself, head on over to bigboystoys.com.hk. I'll put the link in the video description. You can also check them out on Facebook. That way you can stay up to date with all the cool stuff they are doing. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button, leave me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more fun toy reviews just like this one. Until next time, my friends.